role. Yeah. It's always fun to come to Comic Con. Just because you get to see the fans. How, and how many years have you come here? This one, three years. Yeah. I thought you were here something like five years ago. We did we did the Comic Con oh, for San Diego, show. but oh, uh, that's right. yeah, that's right. but the New York Comic Con this has been okay. the third year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know you've been asked this a million times, but I if you wouldn't mind just kind of saying you know why you got into this this program and what you're getting out of it. I mean, what can you not like? Why wouldn't you want to go out into the middle of you know cornfield and fire cannons? shooting That's pumpkins true. a mile far. Yeah. Um, it, it's, you know, it's kind of what I love, you know, just destruction and the cool builds. And these guys are building the most insane machines. Yeah. And they're dangerous because they're, they're, we there's a lot of power. And, yeah. you know, there was one point where they had this one catapult that was ready to launch and the arm busted and wow. pieces flew everywhere. And it was that moment that I was like, whoa, we could die doing this show. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty dangerous, but at the same time, you need that kind of power to get those pumpkins to fly. So how do you mitigate the risk? Um, just try to stay out of the way. You know what I mean? Are they, how, are they, how fast are they going? They, these things, yeah, the velocities are uh, strong. And, but this year, uh, the event has been postponed. Oh. So... Science Channel has decided to revamp it. We're going to go to New Hampshire and do like a private invite only and basically retool the show, reinvent it. So instead of just pumpkins, we're going to be throwing pianos, we're going to be throwing refrigerators, uh, we're going to be shooting RVs with the pumpkin air cannons. I mean, it's going to be insane. But we still have a lot of science involved, a lot of the engineering. You know, we want to we want to teach people as well as entertain and keep people safe too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a team of um, like safety engineers? Yeah, there's a whole you know group of safety officers out there that mm-hmm. kind of keep us out of harm's way. Uh, yeah, Jimmy was saying that um, there's been a number of kind of close calls, but usually afterwards. Um, uh, in these kinds of events, everybody gets together and decides you know, what, what can we learn. Yeah. So, so what are some of the lessons you've learned? Um, stay out of the way sure. of yeah. flying debris. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep your head down. Um, run. You know, there's there's certain safety you know precautions that you take. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Can you run from a pumpkin? Mm-hmm. What happens is sometimes these pumpkins get launched, but instead of going out, they go straight up. So now you have this pumpkin, you know, 400 feet in the air, and you're like looking for it, trying to get out of the way. So when in doubt, run. Uh, have you have you almost kind of had any close calls like that? Or the only close up call that I had was when this machine oh, broke, okay. and man, like debris was raining down. But there's always that moment where you know. The machine launches and you're like, where did the pumpkin go? And it's uh, like, if it didn't go that way, it went either that way or up. Yeah. yeah. But it's a fun event. You like should it. totally go. I will be sure to bring my running shoes. You should, yeah. And your hard hat. Yeah, yeah. And maybe a tank. May- oh my gosh. Yeah. Or maybe like a Pope would be, so you can see what's going on, but you're not going to get hit by debris. Well, oh my god, I think I just came up with like a. The perfect yeah. vehicle to watch. Do you know that? I mean, do you think the, the Pope Mobile would, would, would stand it? He might want to come over from Rome to watch the event and let us borrow his car. Like you said, who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't? Yeah. Well, so then what's next for you in terms of the project? So, right now, I've been doing some hosting on a Travel Channel show oh. where I'm going around doing kind of weird, crazy stuff. Like, I took a two-man submarine to the bottom of Lake Tahoe, drove over cars with the tank. You could ask them to borrow the tank. Hey. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. What's the show called? Right now, it used to be America Declassified, but they have, they don't have a, there's a new title for it, and then it's going to start airing in January. Oh, okay. Yeah. I look forward to, to watching it. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be fun. Well, anything else um, you feel like? 
it's important to get out about the show? Yeah, it, this year is going to be different. It's going to be a lot more carnage, a lot more action, as opposed to just watching, um, you know, just to see how far they can throw a pumpkin. Now there's all these new elements because they're reinventing it. Uh, so this, this, this year's show is going to be a lot cooler. Sort of like obstacle courses or targets? Or? No, targets. Mm. Lots of lots of destruction. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, for thank you.